So what's going on guys, Mr. Dalek JD here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys the awesome free days I had in Los Angeles for the Call of Duty World Championships 2014. Thanks to Activision for flying me out to this event along with a few other UK YouTubers. We had an absolute blast and I'm really, really excited to share with you guys this awesome experience that I had with the awesome event and Los Angeles in general. I'm going to break it down into all three days by going one day at a time, showing you guys everything that happened, taking you along the ride. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. So if you do, be sure to leave a like rating. That would be really, really appreciated. And let's get straight into it. So I don't normally do these sort of real life vlog videos, but if you guys would be interested in seeing more, be sure to leave some support in this video by the likes and the comment section. So here is me, Benny, Central, James Wizard and his girlfriend, Grace. We're waiting for Alie and PT from Charlie Intel before we set off and having some breakfast before we get on our 11 hour flight from London to Los Angeles, which is the longest flight I've ever done before. So of course I kept myself a little bit occupied. Benny was like, make sure you watch The Hobbit, Decimation of Smog, it's a really good film, along with our lunch there. And we also watched a few other little bits and bobs like Bad Grandpa as well, which you know, helped pass the time, 11 hours. It did take quite a while for that time to fly by, but eventually we got to LAX, and this is where our journey really begins. So after having an awesome evening, it was on to day one of the COD Champs. And you can't really start your first proper full day without having an American style breakfast. So of course we all went for huge pancakes, which is absolutely delicious. And we also had a really awesome pool table in the hotel. And so uh, we made sure we took advantage of that when we had the time. I'm gonna include an absolutely hilarious clip here. I'm not gonna explain it. I'm gonna let the clip explain itself. It's just so funny. Uh, this blackboard is, look, someone's sitting there like controlling. <laughs> Get a close up of his face. <laughs> Benny did not look at all pleased with himself. So after that, we walked over to the COD Champs venue, which was an absolutely insane place. It was a huge kind of massive tent with uh, different stations. And this is a look at the winner's trophy and the rings that Complexity won, because Complexity were the winners. This is a look at what the main alpha stage looked like. And I'm actually going to go now and show you a tour of the entire venue. So what's going on guys, Mr. Dark and Janie here. I'm currently at the Queen Duke 2014 World Championship. We're going to show you a tour around the venue, so it's got a huge... It's my beanie! How's it going guys? Going like good, shirt. Shirt. Cheers, I like it as well. <laughs> <laughs> so currently the venue shirt. here, we have the community lounge where you're going to find like me, Benny, who's filming for this video, uh, Ali, Yo. and all the other UK guys who's chilling there. If you look over there, we've got the players lounge, this is where some of the players are chilling out between their games. But as soon as you come in, you're going to know this cabin right here. Is it 32 teams? 32 teams. 31. I think it's 32, yeah. All the teams there. It's pretty cool. If we go over here, we can actually see where the cast is. If you're watching from home, this is where all the magic happens. This is where you can see all the cast is doing their thing. So right there, we've got Ricey from the UK. His hair has some like magic to it. I just don't understand how it works, but that's Ricey. I don't recognise those cars. Nor do I. So moving on. And we have Rel. Rel. Golden boy. Golden boy. That's it. That's it. Right. Right. And then you got Benson, of course. Yes. There's Benson. Right. I was. I was seeing whereabouts he was. That's right here. It's what the actual teams are competing for. So not only are they going to get a handful of this prize pool, but also going to be getting a trophy and a Call of Duty Championship ring, which is absolutely insane. It's so prestige. We're not allowed to touch the case. So there you go. That, that's last year's trophy. But of course, when the winners, you know, uh, 
when the, when the, when the actual final See, happens, they will have their names engraved. So, alright, so if we come over to here, you can actually see one of the like smaller games going on. But it's still awesome because you can sit really, really close and actually watch these players and kind of like kind of analyze how they play. You can actually feel the tension. You can see the sweat running from their running from their faces. It, you can really tell that the atmosphere is really good. And that's only one half of it. And if you follow me here, not only we've got the block of the fight, the Call of Duty Ghost artwork, but if we come over here, if we just bend it over, you can see the back of the main stage. Up there is where the main casters for the final will actually be casting from the huge kind of above platform here. So if we come through here, we will actually be in the main stage. This is where most of the spectators will be taking their seats to watch the, you know, really intense final game. So if we come over here, here it is. This is absolutely insane. We've got to go ahead and sit down and spectate some games. But there's the booths there. Soundproof, huge booths. And that's pretty much it for the tour of the Call of Duty Ghost uh, Championship 2014. Thank you guys for watching. And uh, make sure you check out the rest of the coverage going on this weekend. See you soon. Where you are, you better watch out. So here's Karma on top, Vector out. Party time, go oh, oh, There's Crimson with the Vector. Wow. Just went off there, picking up that capture. And this is complexity at their finest again. Just fucking non-stop action coming out of them. They so, so strong. Yo, that's going to be another 30-point game for complexity. Already six, and we're only in the first two minutes of that. Four captures on the board, leading all the scores, and that's just such an amazing ace finally now. It's so dark, I can't even see your face. So at this point, the more important games of the day were over, so we thought what better way than to spend the rest of the day looking at what Los Angeles has to offer, and I thought I'd make a little montage of clips for you guys. Enjoy! So as you guys can see, we saw the Hollywood sign and the Griffith Observatory, and those were two awesome kind of, you could say, landmarks of Los Angeles. We wanted to go visit Santa Monica Pier as well, but we just didn't get enough time. But that is the kind of ideal shot of the five of us. That sums up the whole trip so well. I guess you could call us maybe the next UK YouTuber boy band. I don't know. So now we move on to day two where some interesting matches were actually being held and this is the walk to the venue. It's in a place called LA Live and uh, this day was awesome because Optic had a lot of big matches and there were some really surprising results as you're going to watch. Uh, 
you could get a cap here with some more plays. It's not gonna, it's not gonna be enough. To score on there. It's, that it looked like a, a little bit of hope that they could do that in, in quick succession. Get those caps, but that's not taking care of business. So 15 to 12. Bell is not going to get in there. 15 to 12 looks to be your final score. And wow. Austin Gaming gets 3 0 by the European Powerhouse Excellent. Not just 3 0. Blown out in combination. A very close to the destroy game. And a very close to the game. And a very close to the game. Yo, what are you doing? 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 Epsilon in our first match. Uh, we were a little out of sync. Uh, we just tried to get warmed up and we just regrouped in the booth after our match and decided that was going to be our warm up. So surprisingly, Optic won all the games that they were playing on day two, which was insane. Epsilon got knocked out, which was a bit of a downer for us because we wanted a UK team to come through into the finals. But nevertheless, it was for an amazing final. And this is where we come to for day three. Excitement was in the air. A lot of people were rooting for Optic as they've never actually gone through into a final like this in a very long time. So it was interesting to see what was actually That's going to be both, both. So from this point onwards, Optic were actually knocked out of the finals. So it came down to Envious versus Complexity, a really, really tight game. And uh, well, I'm sure most of you guys know the result, but here's the final. Make sure that the score is in their favor as big as possible. Complexity has this one locked up, Wiz. Man, 3-0 sweep. I, uh, I, I'm surprised that that's actually how everything went down here. But ultimately, Complexity is going to be able to pull it out and they are going to be crowned your 2014 world champion winners here. What an amazing play by them. I mean, look at these guys. The bro love is coming out. Complexity, obviously the favorites are going into this tournament here. The bro love is coming out. Complexity, obviously the favorites are going into this tournament here. And it's an We talked about how they cool. Got the puck with the personal figure in the skin. He, they, these guys all, for the most part, get along behind the scenes, and you can show it. Obviously, frustration coming out of Envy, Team Bienberg hanging out. These guys have battled against one another for years on years now, so they have so much respect. For the I want in Congratulations to the 2014 winners of the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. Congratulations, guys. So there we have the last 30 seconds of the final Call of Duty Championship match, which was epic. But if you guys missed the final day of the matches, then here is an awesome recap video for you guys.
has finally arrived, the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. It is day three and the finals are just moments away. Now teams from all over the world have spent the weekend battling each other in one of the most watched esports tournaments of the year. We've got a million dollars on the line with the winning team pocketing a $400,000 prize. Now six teams have already started the day and we've already seen some incredible matches, so let's check them out to see what happened. It seems like Envy is going to move on to the loser semifinals, and that is going to do it for Trident T1 Daughters. But my goodness, what a run have they had through this tournament. Showed up 30 seconds. Oh, left. There it is. Oh, Mark. Mark 26 it. seconds left. He picks up three kills there and able to punch one in for his team. Straightly business. They're all on defense. The enemy scored. There's another Envy. one. And in a couple seconds, once we hit that 11 mark, it's going to be out of reach. And that is game. Goes to Envy 3 0. And they oh, shot one. down a second Eight. player here, and that is a slang 26 kills. The two rounds down now. They need to win this next round. And that is a 6 0 finish for complexity. But Nameless is going to check, and he wins it. Plexi gets another kill. Got to get it. There we go. Oh, my goodness. 37. 6 to 5. Oh, Envy, look at them. We are gearing up for the final match of the weekend. Study making it happen here. He's trying to be the young champion. Phenomenal teamwork and communication being shown here by Complexity. One on one here. Oh, Study is going to get taken down with a headshot from Crim6. You can hear the frustration from Envy there. They just could not shut down the slang and Complexity pulls out game number two. They are one game away from taking home $400,000. If MB doesn't Four do down. something right now, this will be over here. They've got to step up. Complexity is going to be able to pull it out, and they are going to be crowned your 2014 world champion winners here. Congratulations to Team Complexity on an amazing showing here at the Call of Duty Championship presented by Xbox. Guys, not only are you $400,000 richer, but you also have the mantle of calling yourself Call of Duty Champions. How do you wrap your head around that? I think from last year getting fourth place, we were all disappointed with that. We're a top two team and we knew that all the success we had didn't matter at all unless we won this tournament right here. Now there was a lot of stiff competition, so how did you handle that going into the matches? Uh, I think we handled it quite well. I think the green wall, Optic Gaming put up the toughest fight. I know Envy, they're a great team, you know, but they had to play so many matches and they got burned out. So at what point during the game did you realize you guys were going to win? I would say that when we played them on the first map and we won it, that was kind of like the telltale of we got this in the bag because Envy is a strategic team. That's where they focus their entire play style and they match up against other teams very well. But when it comes to us, we have just so much raw natural talent that we just know that that's the team that we can be every time. Well, thank you very much. Guys at home, if you weren't able to see the live show, don't forget that you can watch it on demand on Xbox Live coming your way very soon. And don't forget that the second map pack for Call of Duty Ghost Devastation will be released this week on April 3rd, first on Xbox. Thanks again, guys, for watching. I'm Jessica Chobai here at the Call of Duty Championship 2014 presented by Xbox. Shortly after the final of the COD Chats, we had to go back to our hotel to pick up our suitcases and head to the airport as we had to catch a flight not too soon after that. So unfortunately, that was all for my time in LA. It was three days practically in LA with a whole day worth traveling if you can if you consider the fact that it's 12 hours first way and then around about 10 hours coming back so around about 24 hours give or take a few hours but I had an absolutely amazing time in LA for the Call of Duty Championships and it's amazing for me to actually spectate my very first esports kind of event and with an event so prestigious as the COD Champs it was absolutely amazing so big thank you to everyone at Activision involved in making this possible having an absolutely amazing time and I hope you guys really enjoyed the video if you did be sure to give it a like rating let me know if you'd like to see any more things like this in the near future some sort of real life vlogs and maybe I'll consider it because uh, I, I don't want to start to be a bit more personal with you guys and vlogging seems to be the way to go so thank you for watching and make sure to stay tuned to my channel for some awesome stuff coming over the week bye